about the stories that we ran during the week. Where we talk about the stories that we ran during the week. Wow, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> I know, Rhee. I'm like, Rrr. Hello, music lovers. I'm Sean McMurray, and this is... Katie Marie. And welcome to WeDoItForTheLoveOfMusic.com Sound Off Saturday Confessional, where we let you know how we felt about some of the stories we ran during this week. So, Katie Marie, let them know what story were you feeling this week that you just want to talk about. Well, Sean, one story I found particularly fantastic this week was a story slash video by Justin Timberlake. JT! He has a new song out called Can't Stop the Feeling. The video is amazing. It is so positive. He has random extra people doing their own unique dance moves. The song has a bit of a EDM feel to it, and we all know that I'm a big Braver EDM fan, yeah. so he's got my vote. And let's face it, anything Justin Timberlake touches is like gold, from NSYNC to going solo to Cry Me a River, the Holy Grail, and now his new stuff. There's yeah. rumors, ladies, that he's about to do a song with The Weeknd. So that's exciting. Oh, the two of them will be like candy gracious. droppers. So, uh, and I, I love both of those artists. But, but let me tell you something. Katie Marie, when she gets a hold of a song that she really likes, all day, that is what we will hear. It's true. And I, I don't get me wrong, I love these songs, but my goodness, it's like torture sometimes. I'm not torture. But anyways, I concede. Ladies, gentlemen, am I crazy or is it that Justin Timberlake is the bomb.com? If you haven't seen the new video, go to our website, check out the video, Can't Stop the Feeling. Let us know if you think the new song is the bomb.com, just like me. Well, Sean, since I have such a fantastic story, song, what is yours? What did you find particularly interesting this week that we ran? So usually we only talk about one story of peace, right? But, but there were two stories that I found really worthy of discussion. Two stories. Bob Marley. We ran a story on the anniversary of Bob Marley's death, which was this week. And for those of you who know, I love reggae and I love Bob Marley. It's true. So much so, we even named our logo Bob after Bob Marley. So interesting little tidbit you didn't know. So two things, people. Bonus, right? These are just kudo points. And you can find all this information in the story. One, how did Bob Marley die? And two, how old was Bob Marley when he passed? I hate to be morbid, but the story, you know, is just kind of overall talking about, you know, the anniversary of his passing. And so the answer to these questions can be found within the story. And the second story I'd like to talk about is, is about the power of music. You see, we have this segment on the website called Why We Love Music, and really it talks about the positive mm -hmm. aspects of music and, and, you know, what it does for the community and for people and, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, this isn't one of those stories in particular, but, you know, really your perception will dictate whether it was a positive or a negative. I think it's a positive. Yeah, and, you know, and your opinion on it really is it's how you perceive it, right? But how many people know that a famous rock song helped topple a dictator. And the story is on our website. It's actually a really good read. So two questions. What dictator's reign came to an end to this famous rock and roll song? And what was that song? Again, all the answers can be found on wedoitforlovemusic.com. The link to the song is in the video. And we really want to hear what you guys feel about the stories that we discussed in this video and some of the other stories that we ran during the week. And with that being said, I'm Sean McMurray, your small town boy doing big city things, and this is... Katie Marie. And thank you for watching.